Hey, what's up? It's That Weekend Warrior. This is the first of many videos I'm going to be releasing over the coming months and everything. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the beginning of this year. And uh, my wife and I went to this really awesome event called Super RetroCon out in Tampa. Pretty much it, everything is in its name. Um, there was a lot of toy vendors. There was artists. Um, there was special guests. Um, you know, highlight for me definitely was meeting Brian Tochi, uh, who was the voice of Leonardo and TMNT 1990s and uh, Secret of the Ooze and Turtles 3, which I think they've renamed now to Turtles in Time. Um, and a bunch of other great stuff out there. There was a free play arcade. Um, and one of the coolest things uh, was there was a BMX demo and a bunch of people selling BMX. It was a BMX swap meet. Um, they had the uh, the mongoose bike uh, from Rad, and it had all the stuff on it, and phenomenal. I was drooling over it. Uh, another thing they had that I tried to get my wife to let me spend eight hundred dollars on a nineteen ninety six Redline. Um, of course, she didn't let me do it. But anyway, uh, while there, um, I started buying retro games again. Um, just so you know, m majority of my collection has been stuff that i have had since i was a kid uh, my parents were one of those that were like hey go to school you know turn your work in and you know get decent grades and you'll get rewarded and so like i've had all my collection for all my life but there's a few games that i didn't have as a kid that i played that i really enjoyed that i wanted to have um and so at the event there's you know quite a few gaming vendors out there and one of them um i picked up a couple games from them and so one of the games that I picked up was Duck Hunt. Um, you're probably like, um, how did you not own this? This is kind of a staple game. Um, well, I owned a light gun, but here's the thing. My NES was the control deck and the control deck didn't come with Duck Hunt or the light gun or anything like that. It came with Super Mario Brothers, uh, two controllers and essentially the original flippy uh a loading uh, nes um friends of mine had this everything like that i played it a lot and everything um actually i picked up a um you know the, the gun the light gun like years ago but didn't even have this game so i just picked this up to play it okay another game that i picked up was jaws um probably not the best of nintendo games i have a lot of love for this uh there was a kid in my neighborhood growing up he had it and we played this game for hours um just a lot of fun it's very wash rinse repeat but it's a lot of fun um and so with that you know they're all loose carts and one of the things about my collection is i'm a i'm a complete in box person all my stuff is complete in box it's up here on the shelves everything like that but you know prices today of getting something that's complete in box is pretty astronomical um looking at price charting or game eye and you know your my own collection of like some stuff i'm just like holy cow i had no idea that you know this was even worth that much and then watching other youtubers and everything out there like that do reselling which is i enjoy a lot watching this stuff but the flipping and that people do do pay for this too you know um and with that though i i like having stuff in box now this is not a slight to any of the people that i have been interacting with on social media and everything like that and, and you know your loose cart people and that's awesome you do you um this is just for me so with that i started looking at um what some reproduction companies out there and so the first one i came across was gaming relics uh gaming relics makes sort of clamshell style cases and everything like that um, so originally what I was looking for is I have a copy of Castlevania Bloodlines. I think I picked that game up loose cart for five bucks, like 12 years ago, which is crazy now because like you think about the, the cost of what that game is now. I think loose is 75 to like $90 loose cart. And then the box, if I mean the case, if you can find it is it in maybe $50, it could even be more. Right. Um, and so I don't want to spend $50 on a box, you know, um, but gaming relics has a great selection. Um, and it's, it, it's a Genesis case. Like it's a clamshell opens up game slides in perfect. It's even got the two little pieces that slide up. If you have the, the manual to put in there and everything too, highly recommend checking out gaming relics. Um, but for NES games and super Nintendo games, uh, and even N64 games, you know, they were cardboard. 
Um, and so I wanted to find something else and I found a company called Box My Games. That's it. Um, and they absolutely crush it when it comes to the, um, the, the, the cardboard version of these. So, um, one game that I have that I didn't buy at the StretchCon, but I've had it since I was a kid, is Super Mario World. I don't believe this ever came with a box, at least like when you when it came with the SNES. Like even looking at uh, pulling my SNES out and looking at the styrofoam again and everything like that, there doesn't seem to be a space for like the box in in here, which is weird. But it only came with this, so. I am 99% sure I didn't throw this way. It's been many years. I'm in my 40s. You never know. It could have happened. But anyway, um, I wanted to have a box for this game. And so with Inbox My Games, I actually have now Cardboard Box. And it's incredible. And they even go so far as far as like the, the insert. So like it is perfectly fit for the game. To go right in so there's that i got jaws i also got duck hunt but if you remember correctly with nes games you know the games are only so big and there was some space at the bottom and everything like that and box my games includes styrofoam it sounds silly but like that attention to detail is just phenomenal to me so if you are looking for reproduction cases, they're not a sponsor. I'm not sponsored. I'm just a nerd like everyone else that loves this stuff. And I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, but if you are looking for cases and you want to have something that's very close to the original in a reproduction state, definitely check out Box My Games for uh, anything that is like plastic based or anything like that. Um, or if you just want plastic based, like, you know, kind of clamshell style, Definitely check out Gaming Relics. Uh, until next time, I'll see you all again. Have a great night.